so cool. They have like a DJ in the middle of the airport banging out the tune. Very cool. I'm very much in the mood now. Um, food wise, on the flight, as I said earlier, Pat Sambo wasn't going to start recording this poor girl beside me was suffering enough. Um, so yeah, I had that, going to go grab some water for the taxi and then um, we'll probably head to the grocery shop later, whatever's near us, and I will show you what we pick up for dinner. And here we are. <laughs> so this is the um Jean Hotel for Tomorrow Land and how fucking unreal is it? We have like the papers, the Tomorrow Land paper. Everything is done off, like everything. There's even little apples with the logo on it. Like, how cute is that? Yeah. There's me. So yeah, this is where we are staying. I'm actually buzzing. So we just got into our hotel room. Hello, there are robes, there's a bottle, there's slippers. <gasps> Um, oh there, hey. Yes to this outfit mirror, thank you. Um, very cute. And they left us so, how cute is this? And little chalkies. And then this is like, you know, all the info you need. Oh, it's fab, fab. Um, and then we have our little mini balcony. Big TV, big TV. I wonder what's in here. Oh, we have a fridge, yes, yes, yes. All these bits. Stunning. And a fab bed. Add to the fantastic room. You also get like a bag with all little bits in it. So it's a pretty good quality bag, isn't it? Like it's decent, it's way better than like the ones you get with like, you know, free with sports stuff anyway. Um, and then you get this, like your names on it. The hotel is on it, and this is basically your like invite to the global journey um package. That's what we did, and it has like all the special. It has like the bus times, everything like that. Then you get a little, hey, cute little travel journal pen, really cute. They're like Harry Potter vibes, um, and then like even the little packaging bags comes with the Tomorrowland uh, symbol, and then that is basically what's in that little bag and it comes and it has like dice you pl play games with little instructions and pens and all it's just fab they don't they do not do things by half they do not skimp like the production the the extras like they just go all out it's really nice So good. Little pastries. All of oh, I'm definitely having yogurt and nice granola. Carry it up, have granola. Lots of fruit, great. Oh, pineapple, strawberries, yes. Salads, cold meats. Unsure what that is. Cornbread, maybe? Scrambled eggs. Oh, pancakes. What did I eat? Celery beans. 
Anyway, good little setup. Oh look, it's literally thank you, I need a tear this morning. Oh good morning!
writing your story. Live today. Love tomorrow. Unite. Guys, remember that one time I started a Tomorrowland blog, vlog and didn't finish it? <laughs> Same. Um, no, I ha had to come on and just kind of talk about Tomorrowland because I was so shit at recording. Anything got to do with speaking there. I was just having so much fun and it was so nice not to be, you know, like stuck on your phone. And it was just an experience from start to finish. It was just not like any other festival I'd ever been to. It was so unique and so just thought out, like the finer details in it, guys. Like, obviously, like the same DJs play, you know, it's not like they have the best DJs. Everyone, everyone gets those DJs. But fuck, like, fuck the production, guys. From the minute we got to the airport, there was people playing there they're like there's dj there they had this big tomorrowland globe they had you know like people in merch they, we got to the hotel there was people greeting us in all the costumes we got home every night they had food cooked for us um the buses took us there every day the like we get up to our room at night okay clearly i was way too tired at three or half three in the morning to actually remember or think of to take uh, pictures and videos of these things. But every night, when you get into your hotel room, they leave a present. Guys, like, what? So the first day they left was, like, this big, massive, um, like, rolled-up uh, Tomorrowland poster. Um, the second night, and I actually didn't wake this until the next morning, they left us two bottles of Corona with, like, a Tomorrowland bottle opener. Um, the third night they left, really apt for us, and something we will use all of the time, uh, luggage, travel case, uh, tags, you know, for to put on your bag with Tomorrowland on it. And it was just, they really went all out in a sense that they were doing it so you genuinely had the best time. Um, Like, they just pulled out all of the stops, you know. Uh, every, like the costumes, all of the crew were in. The, the way they had done up the park, like, you know, none of the lakes were just left bare. There was, you know, like features in them and water features and big, massive kind of like flowery stands. And it was just savage. And um, it was actually really nice to see a lot of older people at it. Like, you know, like a Creamfield, guys, can we just say that was not a vibe, like, the music, yeah, fine, but I absolutely would not go back to that festival. It was an absolute mess. It was just very, very young, very, very fucked up people. And I just didn't enjoy that vibe. Whereas Tomorrowland, everybody was there nearly as your friends. Like, everybody was very nice. You know, like, everybody just... I honestly didn't see any paramedics the whole weekend I was there, which really does add to the enjoyment because it's not nice watching people kind of, you know, like in a heap on the floor, like having a seizure. Like, ew, um, no, thank you. It <laughs> really, really does not add to your night. So I have to say from that aspect, like and safety wise and everything, Tomorrowland was absolutely fantastic. Um, there were a lot of like older couples. And I loved that, like in their 50s, 60s, like, you know, just a vibe and having such a good time. And like, it was really nice to see that, especially for me and Gary, because like music and travel and festivals is like a massive part of our relationship and kind of like how we met and all that kind of stuff. And it was just really nice to see like that. Oh, shit, like they're doing it. We can totally keep doing this. And, you know, like this will still be our thing in 20 years kind of thing. So it was class. Um, and just, oh, it was like, guys, just the way the stages were built and the, the fireworks every night, like they really pulled it out of the bag. I don't know. It, it, it just lived up to every single expectation I had. Like there was, 
I can't actually fault the thing. Um, now, the only thing people won't enjoy about Tomorrowland is the walk afterwards, okay? So, I will just tell you about my, like, what package and stuff we did, because I know people will be wondering. So, we did the global journey package, um, and that was the hotel one. So we stayed in Hotel La Plaza in Brussels in the city centre. And basically they like bus you to and from every day. Now it takes about an hour, which obviously adds time onto your day. So I know that may put some people off, but guys, the like the sleep and like, I, I genuinely feel that extra hour at night, even though, you could be in a campsite like what are you going to get a better sleep in what are you going to be more comfortable in like you can come home you can have the shower you can have something to eat you have a good breakfast in the morning and um, you have people there doing your hair and makeup everything so i really did rate the hotel now it was expensive it was about a thousand euro each but you have five nights was it four, four or five nights or something in a five star hotel five star with your brekkie your hair your makeup your transport absolutely everything like food at night gifts all that compared to camping for the weekend, which I think is about 350, three, something about that kind of range. Um, but the walk afterwards to the buses is about, it's between 46 and 50 minutes every night. Um, it's three and a half kilometers. I literally timed it on my Apple Watch. But the walk to the campsite is much the same. So it's it's only the bus journey that would be adding on any time. Um, and you know what? Even along the walk to the buses they had people out at two o'clock in the morning doing like you know like fire throwing they had like fairies dressed up on the last night like waving people goodbye and they had like toilets along the walkway like that stuff just like they're how like they just thought of everything absolutely everything and I would just highly recommend this. I, I would definitely do that package again, 100%. Um, camping just wouldn't be for me. Although, like, if you're fine with camping, like, Gary has done it before, and he even said, like, there's an Uber Eats in the campsite, and you kind of have, you know, like, your camp slot site or row or whatever, and you enter this in, and they're all there. So it's not that the camping is bad. It's just I don't think I would be able to do three nights on the session, going back to a, a tent and not sleeping properly, and have people like pissing on your tent and getting sick and noise and just I couldn't personally um and today is Sunday okay so I'm home six days and I'm I'm back to normal probably yesterday actually no I was still wrecked tired yesterday so today is my first day that I'm like a fully functioning human um and I only went back training on Friday so I had a full week off I was absolutely exhausted afterwards but wow Wow, even the food at Tomorrowland, like obviously there's food at all festivals, but it's very, you know, it's like your standard kind of burgers, chips, pizza, you know, like usual. Grant wasn't expecting anything more than that, but that had all of that plus banh mi's, plus Thai, plus, you know, all these like random, like really nice food options. They had froyo, like they had little mini ice cream stall stands dotted around the place. It was super hot. They came in really handy when you just need to cool down a little bit of sugar for energy. Like, it was just the dream. It was the dream festival. Um, so I really, really, really would go back again. Um, we probably won't do it next year because we're not planning on coming back to Europe. But uh, yeah, next year could it could possibly be EDC in uh, Orlando. I haven't done that one yet. So trying to kind of tick off a few different ones before repeating again. But I know I will 100% come again and I will either do, I would say, the global journey with the hotel or look at doing the glamping. They have some really cool like luxury camping options with cabanas or, you know, like the actual like hut, like shed things. So that could definitely be an option um, if you're willing to, you know, like spend a bit more on the ticket. I think they'd, they'd be pretty cool. Um, and when it comes to like the act, I honestly, Christoph, fucking, he was sick. And I got to meet him later. He actually, I was walking out of Eric Frids and uh, I was kind of like, the lights would come on. I was like, Gary, is that, is that Christoph? Like at the back at the end. And 
turns out he actually does Eric Prince sound. So I was like, no fucking way. I was like, I have to, like, I have to say hello. And uh, yeah, we kind of just waited around and he came over and he was so nice. He was so sound. Uh, I was, I had said like, oh, we saw your cream feels as well. Like set was absolutely sick tonight. It, he's not like um, he would be in the church. Like I still love his, his church tunes, but like, oh, his live sets, guys. Absolutely savage. Um, so yeah, really nice guy. Got a pick, it was cool. Um, so him and then Eric Prids, his hollow set, like, I did, like, I've seen it on, you know, on videos online, but whoa, like, whoa, <laughs> he just had these giant, like, things, holosphere, holograms, that's what they're called, um, and there was, like, spacemen, like, walking, there were spaceships, there was a whale, there was that giant eye. Guys, insane what technology can do. So I'd say they were probably my two fave uh, sets. And then, oh, but no, actually, okay, top three. Christoph, Eric Prids, and Tin Liquor on day three, 100%. It was daytime vibes. I was absolutely wrecked by that stage, but they brought me back to life. It was such a vibe. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't actually go in to see Charlotte DeWitt or Adam Baird. They were the two, like, techno acts I really did want to see. But that tent, there was no way. Like, we tried to go in for Charlotte and we squeezed in for a minute and I couldn't. Like, the anxiety was through the roof. I was just like, I'm not. I just don't. I'm, no, it was absolutely rammed. Um, unfortunate because those two are absolute bangers live. Like, uh, raging, we couldn't see them. I didn't even try to get into Adam Bear. What did we do the last night? Um, we oh yeah, <laughs> cringe. Uh, we ended up at Martin Garrix because uh, the main stage did really cool fireworks. Um, and I will leave you on that note to look at some post Tomorrowland Day Three End Act main stage fireworks. So enjoy, and I will see you all next week. <laughs>